Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here with a quick video. Today I am going to show you how to finish this lovely art yarn that you watched me spin the thick and thin for and then ply it. This is how it turned off and it's off the wheel, but as you can see, it is has a little bit too much twist. Okay, so when I first started spinning, I knew how to finish regular yarn, and that's where you would take it off the wheel, put it in a skein like this, and then soak it in warm water with a wool wash. Well, if I did that with this yarn, since it is so textured, it might destroy some of the texture. So instead of doing that, instead of soaking it in water and using a wool wash, what we're going to do is steam the yarn and that will help relax some of these overspun places and keep the texture at the same time. So what I've done in the past is that I have, oh, sorry, just had dumped some things off of the counter. What I've done in the past is I have used my tea kettle and just held the yarn over the, the steam as it's coming out but I recently purchased this little nifty handheld steamer. So this is the first time I'm using it and I'm going to see how it goes. Now look, I'm holding the steam on this part and you can see the yarn relaxing as I'm doing that. See how I'm holding that over the yarn, I'm moving it around, not holding it in one spot. But look at this, I always think it's fascinating how the yarn responds to the steam. Let's take a look at this area, if I can get it in here. And watch how the yarn moves slightly as you're doing that. That is the yarn relaxing, the fibers straightening a little bit, so we don't have all of these overspun areas in the yarn. So this will take a few minutes. It's not going to be a really fast process. It's not something that I can do and then walk away from. So what I'm going to do here is spend a few minutes doing this and then I will finish it off camera so that you don't have to keep watching the whole time. And what I've done here, you don't have to do anything special. I'm just hanging it on my pantry door with a hook that I I normally have on the back of my pantry door where I hang aprons and dog leashes. I just switched it to the front. You could hang it over a bathroom shower rod. You could put it, drape it over a hanger and put that hanger on with the, on the, the shower rod and do it that way. Um, you could just, if you don't have a handheld steamer, you could, um, do what I did and use a teapot or a pot of water that's boiling and hold it that way. The thing that happens though when you do that is it gets really hot because you're holding your hands over the water and it becomes pretty uncomfortable after a while. So that's the issue there. Okay. So let me go ahead and finish this off camera so that you can see the result. If I wasn't holding the phone, hold on, let me set the steamer down. If I wasn't holding the phone right now, what I'd be doing with my other hand is I would be taking the yarn like this, be putting my hand through, and maybe adding a little weight here, because when you're finished, you want your yarn to hang straight like this, okay? You don't want a twist in the bottom. If it twists like this, it's overspun, okay? And this was done purposely so that it will hold together, okay? So what you want at the end of finishing your yarn is without a weight, without my hand here holding it, you want your yarn to just hang in a nice relaxed loop like this. And that's what finishing your yarn helps to accomplish. So I will be back as soon as this is finished. Okay, I'm back. I have finished steaming this art yarn. And as you can see, most of the kinks are out of it. I think near the bottom, I might still need to do a little bit more. See, it gets a little 
still a little loopy here, but I did want to show you what it should look like when you are finished steaming it. It should hang nice and loose the way it is right now. That's how you'll know that you have finished the yarn and you have a balanced yarn. Now with this one, I probably will, I might go back over a few of these spots right here because I still have a few places right here where there are a few little, little over twisted spots. So I might go back and hit those with the steamer a little bit more to get everything completely nice and loose. But as you can see, it makes a nice difference using the steamer to get the fiber to relax and you don't lose any of the texture. So when you are finishing an art yarn, I really highly recommend using a steamer to finish it. I have finished art yarns in the traditional way where you um, submerge them in water, let them relax there and then let them dry. And I've ended up when I have nice coils like this, I've ended up losing some of the texture. So I just wanted to share this. If this was helpful for you, please like and subscribe. And in the comments below, let me know if you have other techniques for finishing yarn. Thanks for watching. I'm Stephanie Nipper. Until next time.